because of this cute message. This is Shannon. I hadn't heard from you in a while. And I just want to let you know that um, somebody else has asked about your um, 50,000 comic books over the Internet. I got an email the other day. So um, just wanted to say hey and uh, tell everybody out there I said hi. See ya. Bye. I've made a lot of bad life choices, apparently. 50,000 comic books. What was I thinking? Hey, it's Jabbo. We're going to be opening this package. And I just got a, something to say about the Lego promotion that's going on June 25th. Before I open this package. So, I called the Lego store. I wanted to reserve a spot for the June 25th build, which is the uh, Castle Buyers. And I was so excited to sign up for that. And they said, you must come into the store uh, to sign up. That's their policy. And I was like, what? Why am I going to make a drive all the way to the store just to sign up for something? And, oh, I was, I, I, it was 10 seconds later, I was emailing Lego <laughs> directly with uh, my complaint slash compliment. I mean, I did commend them for the good things they do, but why they're making their promotions where it really favors people that live really close to the store and those of us that have hour and a half or more drive just one way to the store. Uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's not really feasible. I'm not going to drive an hour and a half one way, so a three hour round trip just to sign up for something that I will again have to make a three hour round trip. So I'm not really pleased with that and I don't, Besides that, they always put it on a day that's the most inconvenient for me, but that's not their problem. That's my problem. Uh, so, just yeah, another reason to uh, be upset. Uh, well, I shouldn't be upset. I, it's really... I know there's a lot of people that live much further away from the Lego store than I do. I think I just read... Just these build a monthly... M m Whatever they call it now, the in-store promotions, just make them out-of-store promotions. Just give everybody a... So, hey, just sign up, buy something, because I'm getting to where I don't even want to go to the stores, because you can get everything straight online. Now, I guess that's a reason to get people to come into the stores, but you have somebody who wants to come into the store, but you're making them drive twice. Oh, I get it. You think if you make them go twice, they'll buy more. Plus, you make them go on a day of the week that's the, probably your least busiest day, trying to get more people in the store on that day. <laughs> so, this is my Bricklink haul. Enough of that rant. Oh, look, I bought another one of those. I had that in the last haul. <clears throat> had that in the last haul. Um, and I got a bunch of these Lego bricks. I just threw these in on my order. Various styles of the Lego logo. How many different styles are there? Oh, my goodness. It's at least three or four different styles there. Green hands. A pink snail. That's nice. Uh, a pink brick. Well, that's classic pink, too, not the new pink. Sign for a train set, 4511. A Fabulan rake. What's that hair? Ugh. All right. And what did I go to the store for? For this. This is for one of the uh, Apollo lunar landing sets, the moon landing, as it's called. I was missing one of these in one of the sets I have, so got that and threw in all these vintage and various parts kind of pleased with the snail there all right what do you think anyway that's my haul that's my rant thanks for watching you always have the cutest phone messages does anybody ever wait to give you a message though